Oh my God, it's almost 20 after! I'm sorry. What's up? Clarky got picked up for soft play by Nanny. And so I was running late on stuff. <laughs> only 19, only 19 minutes. Not 20 minutes, you silly goose. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <sighs> soft play, is that like a bouncy house? Yeah, soft play, soft play places are like places you can take kids where everything is soft. It's what's on the tin. Um, so there are rooms that are appropriate for like really young kids typically. Um, but they're, they're also really fun for older kids as well um, because they're just like, they're just big like play places. Um, but yeah, typically it's like broken up by, uh, age. So there will be sections of it that are like, this is the one year and under area, you know, please don't have a bunch of older kids in here because they get rowdy. <laughs> please let this be a chill zone for itty bitty kids. Um, they typically have like sensory areas, so there will be lots of like, texture stuff and cool light stuff and things like that um but for the most part yeah it's just like a place that's just made out of a bunch of soft stuff for kids to throw themselves around <laughs> are there soft play places for adults yes i do still have octa's sonic the hedgehog colon i feel really bad The last one, I tried to bring it in. I should have tried to bring it in a few times, but I tried to bring it in to um, ship it off and the post office was closed. I was like, dang it. But yeah. I feel cold looking at you. I'm actually pretty warm today. And we just watched all of those clips yesterday. Um, so I was like, oh my God, you know what I want to wear is my pink dungos. So here we are. Yeah, it feels okay in here right now. I love the pink dungos, thank you. They're from a company called Lucy and Yak. It's a UK based company that I adore. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just wet. It's wet, but it's not too cold. <clears throat> yeah, I've been a little congested today. So just, uh, you know, feeling up my sinuses. <laughs> but I want to do a little bit of makeup today, I think. Oh, I forgot to rinse this. One sec. Uh-oh. I've gotten to the point where I keep trying to wash this one and it's like stained now, you know? <laughs> Do you miss having a bathroom in your office? I have a bathroom in my office. It's right there. I'm in the same room. I just turned the, the table. Yeah, we just changed perspectives. Yeah, wait, what? Um It's 10 degrees here, so not too bad. 10 degrees Cels. <clears throat> Morning, everybody, or afternoon, depending on where you are. Hello, hello. Well, it's not 10 degrees in my house. <laughs> it's 10 degrees outside. 
So it's like, it's not too bad. I don't have my mirror up here. I should have my mirror up here because this is a bit deceiving. Where is my mirror? Did my child steal it? Hello everybody. Nine month streak, yo! Thank you. As a Southeast Asian, 10 degrees Celsius sounds wild. One day I'll experience those cold temps. Yeah, I think I think it was last year that I said I realized like that I'm acclimating because um, we went outside. I was taking Clark to, um, she wasn't in school yet, so it was when it was, uh, she was still going to preschool. I was taking her to preschool and we stepped outside and I was like, oh, it's kind of warm today. Like it doesn't feel as terrible today. That's great. And we got in the car and it was like, it's one degree. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, one degree Celsius feels like not too bad. <laughs> so. <laughs> Bunny boys are in Final Fantasy XIV now. Yes, they are. So if uh, you are one of the people that was like, I want to play a bunny, but I would love if it was a, a cute bunny boy instead of a hot dommy mommy bunny girl, um, then have I got news for you. They're short kings. They're very cute. Bunny boys are the cutest you can be in Final Fantasy XIV. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> the bunny boys are very cute. I'll never, look. I'll never get over the choice to make them sh sh the shorter ones. It's so good. It's so good. It's good content. I love it. Where is my mirror? One sec. Child had it. I knew it. I knew it. There you go. Where do I put everything? I'm still waiting for lion ladies. Yeah. Were they like, uh, the Hrothgar didn't wind up being all that popular, so we're not gonna bother. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Give us something. Unreal. <laughs> That's two. We do have the buff rose. Oh my god, I got to play. So we did, any of you who have watched Hellions before, it's one of the D&D &D games that I'm in. And um, we decided, one of our players, Emily, who plays uh, Xanth, had to leave the campaign because she got a job at Riot and has, like, a, you know, a much stricter schedule now. Um, but came to us and was like, hey, I've got a couple Mondays free if like I can come do a thing as Xanth. And we decided to do like uh, side stories, <laughs> like a side story uh, because Xanth's whole thing was that he, his brother runs like a thieves guild um, or like an assassin's guild of some kind, just a bunch of shady bitches all in one place, right? 
So Xanth was like, I'm going to infiltrate and like try and, you know, come at it from that angle. And that was like the explanation for him leaving. So we decided like, yo, let's do a story with Xanth where all of us play like criminals. <laughs> And I had an idea for a character the first time that we mentioned doing this, which was like maybe a couple months ago. I had an idea for a character and I finally got to play it last night. Went off, went off so well. <laughs> <coughs> uh, he's a little broken Warforge named Wagner. It's maybe the best character I've ever played. <laughs> At a certain point, they were like, is this just, is this just Dodger, but as like a shitty robot? <laughs> I was like, yeah, maybe. I'm basically just playing myself, but I'm a robot. <laughs> it's, and it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun. At first I was basically gonna be Eugene, but a robot. And then I was like, I kinda wanna do something different. And the whole idea was that like this robot has been broken so many times that their personality core is like kind of weird. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it, it turned into something else. And occasionally, occasionally I'd be like, <laughs> this is basically just stuff that I would say in real life, but it's fun. morning hello welcome just putting on a little bit of makeup today because i feel a bit grungy i find it's always like there's a fine line when you decide that you're gonna play a character that's like meant to be annoying. <laughs> like, how disruptive can I be without being like annoying disruptive, you know? When you actively say, I wanna play like kind of a chaotic character in one way or another, but I don't, I don't wanna be the person that like keeps the, the story from progressing. You know, I don't wanna be like the person that is making it so that, is making stuff difficult. How disruptive can I be without actually being disruptive? Yeah, kind of. It's kind of that, right? Because it's not, it's not the, it's not a game just for you. It's a game for the group. So how do you make sure that everybody's having fun, but still be like, my character is kind of a goof. <laughs> The reverse of deadbeats where everyone is disruptive. I don't feel like everyone's disruptive on deadbeats. I think generally we're in sync on deadbeats. Characters have like their own goals, but the sort of disruptive that that I'm thinking of that's like, God, this is <laughs> just making it hard to even get anything done is like when a character is like, you know, everybody says, all right, so we're going to go do this. And then one character is like, I don't do that. I go do something totally different. And then that special item that everybody let me hold, I eat that. And then um, I become a black hole. And then uh, I go to an important NPC and I kiss them. <laughs> You're just like, that is not what we're doing right now, dude. <laughs> That's not what's happening currently. Can you save that, please? You know, <laughs> I would love to turn into a black hole in a game and then kiss somebody though, you know. 
but not when other shit's going on, right? Like, <laughs> choose your moments. Anyways, we've all, we've all, maybe not all of us. A lot of us have played a D and D game with someone like that before. <laughs> You're like, homie. I need you to chill just a little bit, just a smidge. I'm channeling Clarky today. I love pink. God, when a when your DM is like in the middle of a monologue as a character and trying to drop you lore, and one character's like, "I stab them," <laughs> like, dude. Okay. <laughs> I love those moments as a DM. God. It depends. It depends for me. So if it's like, okay, say that, I'm gonna just concoct a situation really quick. <laughs> say that there's a character who's like, I, uh, you know, I know about this guy, he's evil. You know, this is like my story, I wanna like, I wanna go get this guy. And everybody else is like, cool, let's do it, right? And we go to where that guy is and the guy's like, ha ha, you fell right into my trap. You've walked right into my, and then that character is like, no, I'm not letting him continue and just kills him. Funny, that's funny shit to me. I love that. If it's like, if it just doesn't make any sense, why? If a character just out of the blue is like, I'm gonna do a bit here where I try to kill an important NPC for no fucking reason. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I hate that shit. Yeah. You can be a murder hobo. That's a term. <laughs> You can be a murder hobo character and have it still like work with the campaign and with the group. Um, I just think, you know, this like, but it's what my character would do. Sometimes you gotta just choose your moments properly <laughs> to have a fucking wacky woo moment, <laughs> you know? It's what my character would do, but who made that character? Yeah. Or the whole group is like that. Right? Or everybody's kind of just like irreverent. And that's the vibe of the campaign is like all of us, all of us are on the same page in one way or another that we that we just like don't gel with, understand or vibe with um, the way that any of this is going, right? And so we're just gonna ruin it. <laughs> Anyways. If you're a DM that can roll with that shit and you're fine with it, then that's great. As a player, if I'm really invested in a story and another player is like, I'm gonna do a goof right now that ruins shit that the DM has been like putting together for months <laughs> and keep everybody from like 
having a good payoff of that moment because I needed to do a bit. No, you're on my shit list forever. You're on my shit list forever, dude. <laughs> Hi, I would like to thank you for introducing me to Dungeons and Daddies. I binged it in a week. I'm obsessed. Yes, it's so good. It's very fun. I love Dungeons and Daddies. I'm glad you enjoy it as well. It's not a BDSM podcast. That is true. Never did D&D. Real question. If someone oversteps like that, are there rules that you can walk it back or something? It entirely depends on the table, on the DM, on the group. Um, some tables have systems in place that are like, no. <laughs> you know. Um, but mostly it's, it's safety stuff, right? M most of the time in that situation, it would be like, I'm deeply uncomfortable with this. Um, I'm not dealing well with like this situation in the game. Can we pause or can we like roll it back a little bit? Um, that's a thing for sure. <laughs> it's a weird puppet that we found in my house. Anyways. Uh, but you know. Typically, if it's like an important NPC <laughs> and your DM has been with the group for a while and knows that one character is the sort of person to be like, I'm going to do a bit, they'll put, some <laughs> they'll put something in place to keep that from happening, right? Even if they make it up on the fly. Like, no, you don't kill them. You know why? <laughs> because of all this other magical bullshit that I'm putting in the way. <laughs> all a dream yeah and then everyone wakes up and that guy isn't dead actually he's still right in front of you ready to restart his monologue <laughs> mm -hmm. for hellions we all filled a thing out to be like to make sure that everybody understood what the safety rules were and also to establish like these are topics that are like no-go for me or these are the sorts of things because hellions does get dark sometimes um so i appreciate it that there was like a hey uh <laughs> how do you how do you vibe with stuff you know there we go <clears throat> I tell them it's an unskippable cut scene. I love that. Maybe Clark brought it from school. Oh no, I mean, I've seen this puppet before. But what about the puppet? Look, it's a princess puppet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. It lives in this house. What if the puppet's alive? Then she's already pissed because she's been stuck in a bag for like a year. So, you know, if she's alive, then I'm already haunted. Maybe Murder Puppet is chill. Maybe. Clark found um, my uh, little sack with the love letter cards in them. And she was like, Mommy, teach me how to play this. I was like, I don't know how well this is going to go, honey, because you have to read the cards. 
And she was like, it's fine. You can read them for me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> for anybody who hasn't played Love Letter before, it's a lot of like, most of the cards say things like, secretly look at the other person's hand. Um, guess what cards the other person has, right? Like sort of shit like that. So I was like, I think me reading your cards will break the game, but that's okay. So we played it a little bit. She got one She got one victory token and was like, do I marry the princess now? I was like, you sure do, kid. <laughs> you sure do. Yep, you nailed it. One love letter is all you needed for her to be like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm in. Put a ring on it, dude. <clears throat> It was, yeah, it was probably a really good letter. <coughs> Look, I think that uh, it's awesome that my kid wants to know how to play every game in this house. I think that that's very cute, but a lot of them require reading. Which I keep being like, look, you're learning how to read right now. It's We're going to blink and you're going to be able to play all of these games. But currently, it's hard if you if you can't read the cards yourself, you know? So. <clears throat> yeah, we've, we've got games for her. Um, we bought a few collaborative games that are like for her age. Uh, there, there are a couple of games that we've just adjusted to be a Clark game, you know. <clears throat> I keep trying to do that thing. I do it constantly. I do this thing where like, I'll see a word that I know she can read. And she'll be like, what does that say? And I'll go, what do you think it says? Do you want to try sounding it out? And she'll go, no. <laughs> oh my God. And then this morning, Sam was like, oh, honey, you go back to school. Oh, that's so exciting. Are you excited to see your friends? And she was like, I'm skipping it. Didn't even, not even a pause. <laughs> Like, I'm skipping it, I'm not going. <laughs> they were like, homie, no. You're in the equivalent of kindergarten. How do you hate school already? <laughs> Tabletop bellhop, I will look that up. <clears throat> she had too much fun at home. Yeah, I was saying that we were talking with her about the fact that, you know, it was only a few days and she would be going back to school. And um, and she was like, what if I stayed with you guys for 18 more days? <laughs> That's a lot. I'm glad that you like us so much, but no, dude. <clears throat> yeah, we're just like too good of parents. We're just like so cool to be around and like so much fun. <laughs> no more Christmas break in the UK. I mean, no, it's it's past New Year's. It's over. It's done. Yeah, I like I I like to think that that Clark and I will get along for the most part throughout her life. I want that, you know. I hope that she thinks that I'm fun to be around for a very long time, but who knows. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Yeah. Ugh. Have you seen the Lucy and Yak foraging fox dungos? No, I'm not gonna look either because I'll I'll impulse buy them. <laughs> no more Christmas songs on the radio. We're free. We might be, dude. I haven't listened to the radio in over a week, so maybe. I don't know. Maybe. A week. I don't think I've listened to the radio in ten years. Uh, uh, you know, we we drive around a decent amount. Either driving Clark to and from places, or like I still go to the laundromat fairly often, etc. You know. Just stuff, just errands and bullshit. But um, uh, Sam's car technically has like like a like Bluetooth shit, but it does not work with my phone. So I listen to the radio a lot. We have three different classical stations now um, because that's what Clark wants to listen to most of the time. <clears throat> a couple like kind of top forty vibes. <laughs> um. And one of them is just like, it cl it's completely all over the place. It's super eclectic and weird. But I just love, I love when Clark's in the car, it's probably classical music, right? Which is fine. Um, I love the hilarious like teenage vibes of like when Sam and I went to see Avatar, we dropped off Clark. Classical music had been playing. We dropped her off the second she was out of the car. We immediately swapped to like rap. <laughs> We're like, let's go. Kids are obsessed with punk rock right now and I'm living for it. Oh my God. Clark last night, her her bedtime game that she wanted to do was that we were both rockers, but like the way that she's, I don't even know if I can accurately do it the way that she says it because she has like this sort of mix accent, you know? Um, she was like, mommy, our game tonight is we're going to be chill rockers. And I was like, chill rockers like like music rockers and she was like yes <laughs> i was like okay <laughs> so we were chill rockers last night i played the guitar and she played the piano um but uh, we were we had to be each other's judges. So she performed and I was the judge and I said that she won. And then I performed and she was the judge and she said that I won. And then Clark was like, and the way that we're going to decide the ultimate winner is we have to make a house out of cookies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's I mean, that tracks. Sure. That makes sense. <laughs> Like he plays the same instrument I play. Yeah, it's. Did you ever sit, see it the times that you came over? She has that little weird keyboard with like a cat face on the top. That's still what she uses all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a keyboard cat. And there's a button you can press to make it so that, uh, so that all of the keys that you hit make meows it's good it's very good 
She's barely a human last time I saw her. I guess that's true. That's so weird. Chill rockers. Ah, oh, having a kid is very fun. She's been sleeping a lot and uh, complaining that her legs hurt at night. So we're like, we're in a growth spurt. So I'm expecting some part of her clothing to suddenly not fit in like a couple weeks here. <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad. Poor baby. How long do they last? I feel like it started six months ago. The growing pains? I mean, they happen in intervals. So she, yeah, she had them a few months ago because she was going through a growth spurt and then nothing for a while and is now in a new growth spurt, so. But yeah, Sam Sam keeps being like, it's just cause your body's trying to grow, dude. Maybe you'll be as big as daddy. And she's like, I am gonna be as big as you. <laughs> He's like, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Ah. <sighs> My baby. I made I made the green rice. I made the green rice last night. It went well. It was actually pretty good. It was a little, I would say a little over salted, um, but that's like a me problem. It was so unbelievably easy to make. Um, yeah, so I made, I made green rice. I was talking about it at the end of stream yesterday, but it's literally you fry up bacon Wait until it gets crispy, add an onion, let the onion soften a little, and then throw in washed basmati rice to like soak up all of the grease and stuff. Um, and then while while the rice is like kind of toasting and like soaking up all that, um, you blend up spinach. It said water, but I did um, veggie broth. <clears throat> spinach, broth, and then a couple cloves of garlic and a little bit of salt. So I blended that up and then um, you pour that in and let the rice cook in that basically. And it was good, dude. And I called it goblin rice and Clark was like, I hate it. I was like, good. <laughs> no, it's great. I've, 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 I've really like, Clark's been doing this thing where we'll, will be like, hey, can you try this? And she'll be like, I've had it before and I know I don't like it. Here's what really like ruins that for them. Start calling things that you make fucking ridiculous names. <laughs> I was like, I am making goblin rice right now. And she looked at it and she's like, it kind of smells like garlic bread. I was like, yeah, kind of. <clears throat> and she tried it and she was like, uh, I don't really like it. She's like, but you know, I've had goblin rice before. And Sam and I were both like, no, you haven't. <laughs> You've never had goblin rice before. <laughs> and then later she was holding my hand and she was like, your hand smells like goblin rice. <laughs> I was like, I have to keep making this now. It is too fucking funny to have like a meal in rotation in our house that's just called goblin rice because I decided to call it that on the fly. But here's what's cool is uh, put the put the leftovers in the fridge and made quesadillas today with goblin rice that's just what it's called now <laughs> with goblin rice and uh cheddar cheese and and grilled them up oh my god really good really good so uh so yeah that's uh i'm gonna keep making that in the future inside the dia yeah 
My dad called broccoli pori pori because I said I didn't like broccoli and I was gullible. So I was like, okay, I guess this is different. Tried it and cried and said, dad, I also don't like pori pori. Oh man, he tried. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, the rice was great. Here, hold on. I will find I'm going to I'm going to mute the tab because otherwise it's going to be annoying. Mute mute the whole site. Great. Okay. Uh go to my profile, go to my liked videos. It was very recent. Here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the one. I'll I'll post it in um <laughs> <clears throat> I'll post it in uh, stream chat. In our Discord. Sorry. Bam. <clears throat> Spinach rice, aka goblin rice, if you would like to also use that name. <laughs> Maybe add rice to the grocery list. Well, I was so <clears throat> I was looking through our fridge and there was just there was a bunch of stuff that just needed to get used, right? So I I was saying yesterday I've got this tub of hummus that I'm still like trying to use up. Um uh but we also had a thing of bacon, and I was like, okay. I could throw it in the freezer or I could just find a use for it, right? And I had seen this recipe on TikTok and I was like, I have a bunch of frozen spinach that I need to use. I I have bouillon cubes, I have garlic, I have onion, and I have this bacon. I can make this rice thing because <laughs> that's literally all that you need for it, so. <clears throat> and the rice, obviously, the rice as well. I was a, my, when my brother and I were kids, my dad went to make sloppy joes. We said that we didn't like sloppy joes anymore. He asked if we wanted dirty dogs. We didn't know what that was, so we said yes. My dad put the sloppy joe burger on hot dog buns, and we loved dirty dogs. I hated sloppy joes as a kid, um, so I feel you on that. But I might have liked it. I didn't like sloppy joes, and I, to this day, hate anything that's like this. I didn't like holding something and knowing my hands were gonna get dirty. I hate that. But like, <clears throat> for some reason, like chili dogs, if it's the right amount of chili, um, doing that same kind of an idea with a, with a hot dog bun, typically my hands don't get as messy. So maybe there was something there. <clears throat> What's up? Absolutely. For sure. You know what I did? I got really sick. I got really, really sick of it feeling like I would blink and there suddenly wasn't any bread in this house. Um, Sam and Clark just eat so much bread, dude. <laughs> They just love bread, which is fine. And you know, we've got the bread maker, but I literally, you cannot make bread fast enough for this family. So most of the time I'll get like two loaves of bread at a time, but it just, it just vanishes. And it always winds up being the reason that somebody's like, oh my gosh, we gotta go to the store. There's no bread in the house. <laughs> it's almost always because of bread. So, I did a click and collect and I was like, Sam, how much bread do you think we eat in this house in a month? It's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, per week, maybe like a loaf and a half. I said, all right, cool. 
So I bought six loaves of bread. <laughs> and I put four of them in the freezer. Because I was sick of it. <laughs> <clears throat> so there we go. To be fair, they're both bodybuilding. Fair. How do you prevent freezer burn on bread? Oh, we've never experienced freezer burn on bread. I don't know. I should tell my dad to do that, actually. Yeah, bread... It goes so well in the freezer. It's amazing. You literally just take it out at the start of the day and let it defrost over like an hour or something. Amarian has said before uh, that they've had like a lot of luck putting it in uh, the microwave. Uh, we have not had luck with that. <laughs> that doesn't go well for us for, for whatever reason. But, but um, just taking it out of the freezer and like leaving it out for a little while. <clears throat> It's, it's like, it was never in the freezer. It's great. Which part of the Discord is the rice recipe in? Stream chat. The, the, um, the umbrella category says stream. And when you open it, there's stream chat, stream clips. Go to stream chat. It's a TikTok that I've linked. <clears throat> This, Alex just said this rice triggered our bot to ping all mods because there might be a raid. It better be the best fucking rice ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> It's pretty good rice, though. Okay? <clears throat> it is... I did call it goblin rice, so it makes sense that it caused a ruckus. goodness I apologize to the mods and the bot for confusing it so badly <clears throat> but yeah in Sam and my efforts to um, like split up tasks in this house um, and try and be like hands off with one another's shit so like Sam, Sam is, is trash boy. He's trash king, right? Um, but there was like a thing that was left out and it was driving me crazy. So I, I, I took it out to the trash. And, and yesterday, last night, Sam was like, you broke the rules. <laughs> you broke the rules of our game. You took some trash out. I know you did. And I was like, I did, I did, I did do that. And he was like, I don't know how you're going to atone for this. I've been playing this game for what two days. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm very sorry. I will never touch the trash ever again. <laughs> but um, uh, I am weekday food king, <clears throat> so I literally decide what everyone in this house eats during the week, with the caveat that during the weekend. That's that's Sam's domain. Sam gets to decide what we're eating for dinner, whatever. Even if we, even if it's all takeaway, he can do whatever he wants on the weekend. Um, so that's been pretty. That's that's been pretty fun so far. I just I just bring him food. It's like you better fucking eat it because I'm food king. <laughs> <laughs> G 
Cheers. <laughs> Hi, baby. You okay? Families around the world will have a recipe called Goblin Rice in their basket filled of recipe note cards for generations. I feel very bad for the dude who actually made this recipe. <laughs> yeah. Look, the weekends the weekends are gonna be um I'm gonna I'm gonna make a guess here. The weekends, one of those weekend days is probably what's gonna be pizza. Date nights are gonna pretty consistently be the one sushi place that we found that's around here. I'm very cool with that, even though it's expensive. <laughs> I'm very cool with that. <laughs> probably gonna have some Burger King for some lunches. You know, that's fine. I sent the rice dish to my partner. His first comment was, when and why did you get a TikTok? <laughs> Is it good, the sushi plate? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. They're, um, it's interesting because I feel like in America, at least like where I lived, right? Um... If you wanted like a spicy tuna something, it was almost always pretty good. Like the rest of the sushi on the menu could be kind of garbo, but like spicy tuna stuff was normally pretty like hard to fuck up, I felt. Um, here, I have yet to have a spicy tuna anything that is good. And I don't know what that is. Is it because of the tuna itself? I just don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Um, to be fair, because every time I talk about food and I'm like, I haven't found a place that can do X, Y, or Z properly, or like not necessarily properly, but like in a way that I enjoy. <clears throat> Everyone's like, you need to go to London. I'm sure I do. So uh, next time someone can watch my kid while my husband and I go to London to eat sushi, I'll <laughs> give you guys an update. <clears throat> oh no, it has nothing to do with, with spice levels. Indian food is huge here. It has nothing to do with spice. <laughs> no, it just, it just doesn't, it just tastes weird. I don't know. I'm gonna try that goblin rice recipe with veggie grown beef for a vegetarian version. Ooh, let me know how that goes. Yeah, I was trying to think to myself, like, what would I, if I wanted to make this vegetarian? Because the bacon, the bacon's the only thing, but the bacon is, like, really integral because you, you put, you, the, the rice, like, toasts in the bacon fat, right? <clears throat> so I was like, what could you replace the bacon with and still, like, have that big flavor impact? I'm not totally sure. There's a pop-up in London I went to called If Burger King and Itsu Had a Baby. They did fried fish sushi roll burrito things. I dream about that sushi roll. Oh, damn. What do you guys do when your daughter doesn't like something? Um, we say, that's fine. Thank you for trying. I appreciate you trying it. Uh, and I'm pretty upfront about the fact that I will try to offer it to her again at another time. We talk a lot about how, um, you know, our taste buds change, things that we thought we didn't like, maybe we'll like in the future. 
um, I've talked about stuff that I didn't like when I was a little kid, but that I love now and stuff that Sam used to dislike, but that he loves now. Um, I think that it's totally fine for my kid to not like something, <laughs> you know, um, grown ass adults have shit that they don't like to eat. Right. So, um, I don't, I don't make her feel bad about that. I try to always offer her a couple of things that I know that she likes and enjoys so that she does eat something. It also, it also makes like the plate in general more accessible to her, right? Like it doesn't feel so daunting, like filled with things that she's not sure about. So I try to have a couple like safe foods, so to speak, and then whatever like kind of new thing, goblin rice, if you will, whatever new thing is on the plate. Um, and uh, encourage, some people think that you shouldn't even like point out the new thing or talk about it at all. Um, I feel, I feel like there's nothing wrong with talking with your kid about the fact that there's a thing on their plate that's weird to them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, I encourage her to try some, um, <clears throat> she'll usually try a bite and if she doesn't like it, she's really upfront about it. And I'll say, that's totally fine. Thank you for trying it. We'll try again another time. I will attempt to feed you this again. I love you very much. <laughs> I have some stuff I can't touch anymore because I was forced to eat it. Well, like, you guys remember when I, when I had Clark and I was like, yeah, apparently sweet potatoes are like a really common thing to feed little kids because they've got good stuff in them, but like, I hate sweet potatoes. I can eat sweet potatoes just fine now. I actually put them in lots of things, but the reason I avoided them for so long is because I had so many memories of being forced to sit at the table until I ate my sweet potatoes and they were disgusting to me as a kid. So, you know, sometimes that shit just sticks with you when you're forced to eat something. Um, so we try to be pretty casual about it. Uh, you know, as long as we're offering her a variety of things um, and, you know, and she's willing to try stuff, then I don't think that there's really a huge issue. Yeah, I also sneak vegetables and things all the time. She loves pasta. The pasta sauce that I make has tons of vegetables in it, um, but they're ground up so you can't see them, <laughs> you know? And there's plenty of vegetables and beans and things that she loves to just eat raw. And if you cook them, she hates them. So I'm like, fine, <laughs> have them raw, my dude. Yeah, that was kind of my hope too, is is by being more upfront with her like, yeah, dude, sometimes we eat a thing and we hate it. And then the next time we try it, it's actually not that bad because, or or we like it even because our, our taste buds, the things in our mouth that help us taste things, they do change and the sort of stuff that we like can change over time. I'm hoping that her knowing that will make it feel more like ah maybe i'll give it another shot you know <laughs> no not sorry not raw beans not raw beans lots of raw vegetables um cooked beans but like not necessarily in something she likes just eating beans on their own Kind of veggies do you use for the sauce so i make it used to be that i would do it every single time i would blend stuff up every time i made sauce but um here's the, here's the really quick and dirty easy way to do this right so get you some uh like sweet sweet bell peppers or sweet peppers of some kind um onion broccoli some spinach you know just like whatever uh carrots 
blend it all up until it's like a paste essentially and then freeze that freeze that in little in little blocks if you can get one of those like silicone things that just has like tiny circles of just just freeze like little basically little veggie bombs okay and then uh when pasta sauce is on sale get a bunch of fucking pre-made pasta sauce and then when it's time for you to, for you to make pasta you dump the sauce in a saucepan and grab one or two little veggie bombs and toss them in there it's great <clears throat> it's very easy <laughs> Obviously, it's easiest if you have a blender. If you have a, a blender or a food processor, that's how I turn it into a paste. Oh, amazing! I followed you on YouTube something like 12 years ago for coffee time. It's so cool to find you now on Twitch. What's up? Welcome. Yeah, I uh, I stream almost every day. So come hang out. I'd love to see you back again. Yeah, my new thing is when we do get bacon, take like we never uh, the number of times that we'll eat like a couple strips of bacon and then the rest of it goes bad is so often and I saw someone who was like yeah I just take parchment paper and then however many strips of bacon we normally eat each time and then put them in little like line them up um and then roll up the parchment paper and cut it and then put it in the freezer I was like what that's so smart <laughs> So I have little, I have little rolled up balls of uh, bacon and parchment paper inside of a freezer bag now that just has like four strips of bacon. No, oh, I need to turn off toot fart or maybe just leave it there forever. <laughs> Do I leave toot fart there forever? Maybe. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Hi. Absolutely. Yes, I agree. Completely. Toot fart is relevant. <laughs> Good. You're very snuggles today. What's up? You okay? Me? Hold on, let me see. Okay. It's been, it's been years since we've had a flea issue, but if I see even the smallest black dot on Watson, I'm immediately like, what is that? <laughs> It was nothing, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> What's on her back? Um, she licks herself. She anxiety licks, so. I need to get you a sweater. That you'll probably hate. Does she go outside? No. Nope. Fleas hitch a ride on just about anything though. So, it's good to be paranoid. I know. Bubby. I called Sam Bubby the other day and he was like, don't do that. <laughs> it's like, that's what, that's what you call Clark and the cats. Don't call me that, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, someone was asking why I call her that. And it's it's just like that word. It started as bubbla and it's and it's turned into like eight different. You could be bubba, buppy, bubby, bubble, booble. Any of that shit. You never know it's going to fly out of my mouth until I'm already talking. Yeah, it's a very Yiddish word. <laughs> Bubula. You never know what's going to fly out of my mouth until I'm already talking. This is me. <laughs> I never call my partner by their real name either. I call Sam Sam. I would say 50% of the time. the weirdest pet name I've been called? I don't know. My mother-in-law used to call me a Dormouse, which I actually thought was very cute. Dormouse because I can fall asleep anywhere. And I explained that to Clark. She was like, how come Nanny calls you a Dormouse? And I was like, because I can fall asleep anywhere. And she was like, anywhere? Even on the radiator? <laughs> Such a weird first thing to ask. I was like, probably not on the radiator, homie. I can't fit on that. <laughs> I haven't tried, that's fair. I have not tried to sleep on the radiator. I'll give it a shot, guys. My old cat used to sleep on the radiator, do yours. My cats don't fit on the radiator. Our radiators are kind of thin, I feel like, for like anything to sleep on. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good skill until you fall asleep on like a bus, which I've done before, or uh, fall asleep on the floor in the corner of a room and people are looking for you and can't find you because there's also a perfectly positioned couch that kind of hides that corner of the room. There's a, you know, there's reasons why it's not great. <laughs> I was called peanut or peanut pie because the nurse said I looked like a peanut all wrapped up when I was born. That's very cute. I call, I call Clarky Sweetie Petey a lot. Clarky Warky is is the most common one I want to say. Clarky Warky, Sweetie Petey, Puddin' Pie, Darling. I call everybody in this house Darling.
My second daughter we call Peeper or Peep Nut. That's so cute. Um, my niece's name is Eden, and everyone calls her Greedy. <laughs> because her name, it was Eden, and then it turned into Edie, and then it turned into Greedy. <laughs> and so now everyone calls her Greedy. <laughs> Which is such a, like, such a funny nickname to me. I call everyone darling, even online friends. I love darling because it feels very, at least to me, it feels very gender neutral. Like anybody could be darling, you know? It reminds me of that clip of Ian McKellen talking about how he feels so at home when he's somewhere where everyone just calls everyone love and how that's such a like sweet, endearing way to refer to people. I I love calling people darling because I, I just think it's <laughs> it's just like, Anybody could be darling, you know? One of my friends calls everyone lovely. That's so cute. I love that shit. Your hair looks lovely today. Thank you. People in Darby and Nottingham call each other duck. Yeah, ducky. Duck and ducky I've heard before. <clears throat> Calling people darling feels like a British thing. It's weird. There's, there's some stuff... There's some verbal stuff that I do, and I literally can't remember when I started doing it. You know? <laughs> I can't I can't say reasonably whether or not I started saying darling after I moved here, or if I was already doing it. I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. I have a friend who calls us Petal. Petal, that's so cute. I love it. Terms of endearment between friends or even strangers is very cute, I think. I want to extend some love to Dodger and chat. I'm going for surgery in just over a week. My anxiety lately has been debilitating. I haven't been sleeping. I've been worrying about all the things that could go wrong. Just having this stream and chat here has been life-saving. I appreciate you all very much. I'm very sorry. I hope that everything goes okay. I'm glad that we can be there for you. That's wonderful. This conversation is reminding me of, um, there's a video where somebody was like, I went to the barber and the barber kept calling me babe. And now I'm obsessed with him. It was, it was like this, just this like big burly dude who's like the bartender just kept calling me babe. And now I can't stop thinking about him. Okay, 
platonic babe is so important. Everyone should use it. It's very cute. I love platonic babe. You're giving me bees. It's peas, babe. That's, that's, that's maybe, God. <laughs> when like every moment of your life it reminds you of a clip from online. <laughs> My problem is a babe would quickly turn into bub. <laughs> hey bub, what's up? <laughs> hey, do you guys want to play Italian kitchen simulator? <laughs> I was like, what am I gonna play today? And you know, there were some like serious games. And then there was Cooking Live Italian Kitchen Simulator, which is free. I was like, this is either gonna be really fun or awful. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but it has mostly positive reviews. It's lifetime reviews are very positive. So, uh, Mamma Mia Pasta Pizza, you know? Add to my library, please. They're doing a Christmas event hell yeah absolutely is it what's happening i need to play this game sir help me out here they don't want to help me out hold on I guess this is it. <clears throat> so in the store, it's called Cooking Live Italian Kitchen Simulator. But in my library, it's called Cooking Live, the restaurant game. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hades is a bop though. Are those lights real? No. <laughs> yeah, Hades is a great game. Hey, you should all play Hades. What a what a good game. Damn. Good music. Darren Corb. Pinches fingers. Wait, why? This is loud. I'm saving you. I can't save myself, but I'm saving you. <sighs> okay. It's better. Okay, is that all right? <laughs> I thought 
thought I swapped to the screen at the time that I went <laughs> and it turned out I hadn't. <laughs> so you're welcome for that. Uh, goof did not pay off whatsoever. <laughs> Restaurant game. Tap to start the level, she says. Maybe I will. Are we doing the DVD bounce? No! Not yet, anyway. We'll see. We'll see how this game goes. Mamma mia. Yep, that seems right. <clears throat> Cooking live is what it's called, right? Yeah. Great. Here we go again, baby. Tap. Oh my god, it's a mobile game. Play. Leah is opening a breakfast restaurant. What happened to the Italian restaurant? She needs a simple hearty dish. Let's figure out how to prepare fried eggs. I have a guest who wants eggs. Tap on the dish. I sure will with my real finger. <laughs> All right, okay. This is good. This is a good use of my time. Level complete, tap to continue. It's killing me that it keeps saying tap. I love getting rewarded for my hard work. Same. Clean up the room. Let's go. Swarp, swarp, swarp. Oh my god. <laughs> that was very quick. What's in here? Let's go. Oh no. Am I going to run out of time like in a true mobile game? I don't have the strength. Eggs with tomatoes. Okay. Why can't I do both? Why can't I put tomatoes on there ahead of time? What's up with that? Haha. <clears throat> what? But I had eggs going. Can I eat them? I have played played up. <gasps> We're glad you're enjoying the game. <gasps> I gotta unlock more faches. Okay. Sure, I'll be Joshua. Why not? <laughs> okay. 
Let's get some wallpaper up in here, dude. Oh my god. Choosing the design is my favorite part. Choose the style that best suits the room. This premium design? Why do I have to? Interior moss and plants. Refreshing. Tap on the wall. Unique effects. Jane, the food blogger here with you. Today, I finally made it to Amsterdam. You're the food blogger? I thought you were the chef! I got a message from my friend Leah. She decided to pursue her lifelong dream of opening a restaurant. That's me. I immediately- Wait! I'm Jonathan! It's fine. Yeah, we'll go to the restaurant. Upgrades. Most suitable upgrade is in the recommended upgrade section. Okay. I don't want to speed up. Oh, God. We're going to hit a wall here really quick. I know! It said Italian kitchen simulator. I'm actually furious about it. More. More customers. More. More. Boo. <laughs> Maybe the Italian part is DLC. It's, I don't think so. Well, you know what? Let's go look. So, okay. It's cooking live restaurant game. Cooking live Italian kitchen sim. Play Cooking Live Italian Kitchen Simulator, which is what I clicked. Oh my god, it has so many negative reviews saying, It's pay to win! Don't touch it! Fair enough. I'm gonna play it until it tries to squeeze the life out of me. <laughs> Let's go. If there's one thing I'm known for in this house, it's for refusing to wail. Great. What's my new task? Okay, let's go. The most dissatisfied guest always receives the dish first. Cool. I need it to go on longer. Clean the windows. Do it. That was a window? Man, we needed that. <laughs> Holy shit. What's my new task? Put a new ceiling in. All right, sure. We got any herb grades? Egg upgrades? What does that do? Makes them worth more or what? Oh, yeah. Speed up that juicer, dude. In two minutes, speed up that juicer, dude. <sighs> Seven? What a sham. <laughs> what a sham this game.
Uh oh. Oh, okay. I fucked up right when we were closed anyway, so. Tucks hair behind ears. <laughs> Most of the upgrades require the premium currency. Yeah, what's up with that? Absolutely not. A reward. What is it? It better be some gems. Hell yeah! I can go for 36 more minutes. <laughs> Until the game's like, you're not allowed to play anymore. <coughs> so. Oh. Seven seconds left. Until my juicer is is juicing. Hell yeah. An upgrade delivery. Delicious. Thank you for that. Next. Let's go. Reach the goal before time runs out. Yeah, okay. Challenge game or some actual Italian food to to cook would be great. I say that like they don't cook eggs in Italy. <laughs> I'm like, where's the pasta pizza? <laughs> I can't believe this. <clears throat> okay, two a eh? <clears throat> tap the fried eggs. I would love to. Tap the orange juice. Make it a combo. Serve up to five dishes as fast as possible to get max combo. Uh, okay. Combo, I don't know her. They're like, we're trying to help you, you anti-whale. <laughs> Are you enjoying the game? No. <laughs> Look, the game has done nothing to wrong me so far, but I know it's going to piss me off eventually. <laughs> what are you doing here, Michael? I thought his name was Jonathan! Is that not the same guy? Whatever. Okay. I can upgrade eggs with just muns. That's what I'm talking about. Solve the photo puzzle? Solve the photo puzzle? Complete the puzzle and receive a prize? What? But when I click on it, it just takes me to upgrade a thing. No, I'm good. Let's play. Time to show off all your skills by not burning a single dish. I never have and I never will.
<laughs> I almost did just then. <laughs> Absolutely. It probably only works on touch devices. That's dumb. Upgrade delivery. Oh yeah, the eggs. Nice. Cool, thank you. I forgot that I did that. <laughs> Use nonstick coating to keep your food from spoiling. Let's see how it works. Okay. Dishes are protected. Okay. Three eggs! Holy shit. Uh. Hi. There's a hard level coming up. Finally, a challenge. <laughs> Why are you telling me to upgrade? Upgrade a dish to get a new serving. Why do you need me to use jemmies? What's that all about? Oh? Salt, salt. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, if you're gonna give me jemmies, then fine. Fine. Oh no. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough of the shit. I don't have enough of the juice. That's fine. I'm gonna upgrade my tomatoes then. Hard level 10, let's go. I did it. <clears throat> I don't trust the kid that's bringing in the cat. Fair. <laughs> My tomates. They're juicy. Do we want tables or lights, chat? What do we think is really gonna elevate this restaurant? Just ordered three plates. Where's all that food going? The cat, dude. Maybe <laughs> health standards are different in Italy. Are we in Italy? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go with this. <clears throat> yeah, sure. I cared at first. I, I can't anymore, though. Oh my gosh. The puzzle. It's coming together. Okay, let's go.
Why do we let that kid come in here with a cat anyway? What's that all about? Oop. Who's that guy? Whatever. <laughs> Okay, new tabla. The tables do we want? Sure. A reward. It's like a reward. Oh my goodness, 35? New chairs and table deco. Got it. Instant cooking is fantastic. Dishes are prepared instantly. All you have to do is serve them. Okay. What? Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh no. <laughs> I'm never getting rid of that rug, dude. That terrible rug, right? And this, it's there for life. Uh, okay, cool. Wah, wah, wah. Sure. I could wait a minute, but I won't. <laughs> <gasps> Every blogger loves a like, dude. Ain't that the truth? Earn them by serving guests. Okay. My toast is supreme now, dude. Wah, 
Wah, wah. <laughs> this is college guy needs so much juice. Don't ask. Let's go. Glad I haven't put any more eggs on, dude. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, we're gonna do. Oh no, that could be better for business than a double profit booster. Okay, this one seems the most like it's not gonna fuck with my optimization. Okay. inner lives that require four glasses of orange juice. <laughs> Maybe. They probably also get really bad rashes when they go to the bathroom sometimes. <laughs> it's a lot of acid, dude. Okay, I know I said only one more level, but let's go. What the fuck? No! Oh no, a new thing. I only get one each time? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Oh, God. I thought it was a dishwasher, and I was like, okay. And then it was like, no, it's an oven that makes one muffin at a time. Pardon? Just these ones, I guess. I don't know what's going on with them because I keep skipping the dialogue, but I like to think it's like a weird, tame Fifty Shades of Grey situation. Hard level! Okay, let's do this first. Go! Go! Everybody go, 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 go! Oh no! Ah!
<gasps> no! Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> no! I didn't feed him! Well, it's still, it's acting like I'm fine, so. <laughs> The oven, please. I'm begging you. Speed up the oven! I think that's the only thing I can afford. Okay. I will be right back. Hello, I'm back. Our oven has arrived. <laughs> ho ho, ho ho ho. It's so dark in here. Also, I fucked around and got cold. <laughs> Give me that oven. Okay. Can I, no, I can't afford to upgrade anything else. That's right. I already tried. Okay. Oh my God, two muffins at a time. What is it, Christmas? Muffins from one oven, dude. A good upgrade. A good upgrade. No, 
three. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. A wah, wah, wah. Okay. This guest is running out of patience. Quickly activate compliments of the chef. The guest's patience has been restored. While the timer is running, they're ready to eat anything. Oh, interesting. Okay. In this level, the amuse bouche activates for free. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Ho-ho! <clears throat> Who's doing the dishes? Don't worry about it! This is a blog that our subscribers love. It has a level that rises when we earn blog points. Complete tasks, earn points, and get unique rewards. Uh, okay. My daily tasks. Earn groceries. Serve this customer. Yeah, okay. <coughs> <coughs> ah! <clears throat> There's a cat! Wait, that's the only one with the cat? It costs 75 to have the cat? I hate this game. I'm furious. What, what happened? What did we do? Why is it acting like we did something? Okay. Why is it acting like we did a thing? What's happening? I sure did spend some rubies. Yeah, that's true. My name? Hmm. Wait, I really- I need to think about this. Yeah, you know, it's, hmm. Maybe in honor, in honor, you know, in honor of the command. <laughs> Try another name? I can't believe this, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I'm tapping out, dude. It's pretty cute. What does it want? What does it want me to do? Whatever. I'm gonna play the game.
Aha. No! Oh my god. No! <laughs> Nearly. Yeah, this world operates only in gold. <laughs> oh my gosh, my channel is doing so well. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> oh, that's what I was literally just looking at. Let's go. believe this. I don't want to use a booster. Furious. I'm just not getting good enough combos, bro. Is the problem. Christmas story. Oh god. Um No, like uh I I don't know what it is, but like I have I have a uh a real love for playing games like this that are constantly trying to get you to spend money and being like, "No, I don't think I will." <laughs> There's, there's something about that that is so deeply satisfying to me. To just constantly be like, no, thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. thought it was something else that was so wild <gasps> no oh my god really fucked up here thank you oh jesus <clears throat>
did it. We have a super hard level coming up. Another one, goodness gravy. My glass of juice is the best and everyone knows it. Oops, I don't have enough. Just kidding. Okay. Super hard, they say. Let's go. Combo's going. <clears throat> I did it. Super hard my butthole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Premium decor, serve customers. Did it. Did it. Serve Friday. Oh. Great. Serve fried eggs. Did it. Oh my god. That didn't look like a hanger at all. That was a bookshelf. You might say I should have read it, but... <laughs> but come on, that looked like a bookshelf, dude. Poor Leah. Nope, I don't have enough. I don't have enough, Leah, I'm sorry. It's handy when the waiter serves the food. We have a waiter? Oh my god. That is nice. The waiter activates for free. Okay. They're sealed again? Why? 
What for? I think they want me to <laughs> use the waiter, but... Oh no, we replaced the mat! supposed to be the hanger <laughs> can't believe this that says shelves but that's clearly a picture <laughs> sorry i shouldn't get mad at them <laughs> what's this all about clean up the patio all right I did serve a glass of juice. I did do that. That's true. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Um, games like this love to do this, where like it's front loaded with so many ways to get currency, right? It's like, look at all, like, yeah, we give you lots of ways to just spend money, but you probably won't even need to. Do you feel the dopamine? <laughs> Don't you just love how often we're just like giving you shit? You probably won't even need to spend any money at all. And then it'll slow the fuck down. <laughs> and you'll be like, where's my dopamine? Oh no, it doesn't have a, the like auto of oh, shit. <clears throat> okay. Just wait until someone comes in. Oh, no! <clears throat> I tried. I tried to go for combos. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Wait, why? Why? Why is this modifier happening? I don't like it. I know. Yeah, they, you have to like, if you want to get a combo, you literally have to like rapidly give shit to people all in a row. Win levels, you know I do, baby. All right. <laughs> Clean the patio, dude. Just three eggs. You know me, all three eggs. Just how I like them. Oops. Uh-oh. Someone please buy eggs. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Someone, anyone. <laughs> nope, that's okay. I'd rather not. Ooh, now we get this. Now we get this guy in the corner, a true mobile game. Now we got this guy in the corner like, I know you like don't wanna spend money. And to be honest, like we give you so much shit that like you like don't even need this. But in case you do want it, it's just right there. It's only a click away. So in case you're interested, but like no pressure, you know. Oh, I haven't been doing any upgrades. I can probably do that. Oh yes. We're back to normal, baby!
Nice. Blammo. Tap on the wall and hold it until the gauge fills up. And then I can just do a swippy swap, dude. That's pretty wild. I did serve muffins. I did do that. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's actually do an upgrade this time. I'm gonna change my title. Okay, great. Just so people know what they're getting into, dude. What does this make? What does this do? What does R stand for? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> This old lady's getting cranky. She, <laughs> she needs six eggs immediately, dude. <clears throat> yep, that sure does look like a great offer. Wow, I'm shocked. Skillet is on its way. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Get. Get. Hell yeah. Get. Oh my god. I'm powerful now. Shoot! You don't get your eggs, sir. <sighs> We're 
we're really crushing it here. Rewards, absolutely. Let's go. Oh, oh you get an avatar? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Lay paving tiles. These. They're cute. I hope this doesn't go away. Three and two. Okay. Best, 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 best. All I do is win, win, win. I don't got enough money. I don't want this on. Wait, I do want this on. Oh my God. I do want this on. I'm a fool. A damn fool. Let's go! Why do I have a blowtorch? I can't. No, this is not an actual cooking. Nope. This is not an actual cooking anything. I'm so sorry. This is just me yelling at a mobile game. <laughs> this is just me yelling at a mobile game for three hours, four hours, whatever. One moment. I will be right back. Fantastique. That's cute. I want that. It's not representative at all of what we are. You can't see the game either. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> you don't need to see the game. Just, just follow the dulcet tones in my voice. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Okay, let's go.
Cool. Snousages? Oh shit, are we adding snousages in? I don't know if I'm ready. I have to be ready. I said I was gonna play this game. I am ready, let's go. Bacon? I like to think that that thing is like, like, heats it, you know. I don't know why I keep checking that. Anything? Really, guys? Nothing? Get it together. are these people eating one person in chat was like do they live is this next to a gym <laughs> it's the only thing that makes sense i don't want it game uh I'll just go plain i think and get a new reward All right. Nice. Very cool. Nice. Very cool. No one wants that? Oh god. What have I done? Uh just bacon. Just bacon. Goodness. Oh, please save me from this hell.
trying again. No, I'm gonna try again. I'm starting over from scratch. <sighs> I really fucked up there. But I can fix this. I certainly did serve dishes, that's true. I did do that. Okay. Oh, it makes them cost more. I'm gonna literally wait for this oven to upgrade so that it's faster. <laughs> We're not gonna speed it up. No, no. We are anti whaling, which means we cannot afford. We cannot afford to frivolously spend gems, says the person who spent 72 gems so that I would have a cat walking around. But look at him! He's so cute! spilled coffee all over myself <laughs> as it should be <laughs> as it should be sorry yeah, he's got a little bow tie he cute he's a cute boy wah, wah, wah. Live animals where I eat skews me out. That's fair. I live in a house with cats, so everywhere I eat has live animals. <laughs> <clears throat> I have not named the cat, no. If anybody would love to uh, suggest names for this cat, feel free. That is the only good part of the game. I don't know, I'm in. I'm invested. Do it, do it faster. Nice, okay, let's go. Did I do it? Nice.
like how that guy smiles after you feed him. <laughs> Is that weird? New task. Oh, I guess that's it. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, absolutely. Serve juice? No. I certainly do do that. Hey, rewards. Money up. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Okay. Upgrades?
Oh my god. Did it. This game becomes very tunnel vision. <laughs> My upgrade. My sausage is so much better now. I don't know why, but it just is. It's just better, gang. I did it though. Okay, phew. <laughs> I didn't get everybody their food, dude. Oh my god, why does everyone want juice? Come on, gang. How are y'all drinking this much juice? What?
ridiculous. <laughs> want me to say a bike rack sure that's pretty cute I like that one got them little orange flowers oh yeah give me my delive quicker juicer I could have used that last time dude Oh my god, no, three juicies at once? Oh! We're about to live large. <gasps> no! Bro. Oh <gasps> no! Juice, dude. Why? Why is everybody so into the juice? Wild. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> it's so dumb looking, I love it. Haven't we made it clear, Mike? We don't want you around. I don't care that we dated five years ago. I want you out of my life. <laughs> Screw breakfast. I'm just going to do a juice shop. That's what the people want. What's the picture? Oh my gosh. Everything's as good as it can be. The hell? I got nothing. I got nothing.
-da -ba -da -da -da. Hey Joe, what's up, bud? <laughs> yeah, so now what do we do? Well. A super hard level. Let's go. A super hard level, you say? Oops, uh, yeah, it's fine. Oops, did I make it? I did. I did it! <laughs> this is like a hotel breakfast bar. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Thank you. 
that it? Greedy has same customers, I know. We're trying to unlock a new customer right now. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Anything else? No? It's fine. Just play levels. I'm working on it, dude. Look at this. New customer. Come on, man. It's looking pretty cute outside, guys. New customer, finally, a fresh face in this hell. And then there's this guy. I'm not gonna work too hard for him. New, f new face? Oh, new face! Oh, but not a new face for me, that's fine. <laughs> I'll deal with it. There she is! Guests have left? That sounds like a them problem. Hard level, it says. Let's go. Come on, then. Thank you. 
Take that! <laughs> There's nothing to upgrade. There's nothing to upgrade anymore. There's nothing for me to do with my money! Finally. Whew. Are we switching games at some point? No, I'm, f I'm invested. <laughs> Should play cook serve delicious again um god i haven't played that in forever i was not good at it though to be fair a new classic but like or new new classic a new classic <laughs> but like it's i've got nothing i've got nothing to spend money on Maybe I guess I just I'm just gonna assume that I have to hit a level where it's gonna be like guess what there's new shit to make No! Oh my god, ex I got exactly how much I needed. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. This is pretty wild to me as well. 
Uh, I assume. Continue? Okay. Maybe each, oh gosh, am I giving this too much credit? Maybe each of the, um, each of the different like characters uh, specializes in a different like type of food. normally you would move on to a new restaurant yeah that's what I'm wondering cuz like I've fixed everything right so like surely this restaurant is done <laughs> question mark well there's I maybe this is the last thing maybe I just got to do the tablas and then we're, and then we'll be good, you know. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, just one more star, and then I can get them tables. Super hard! Let's go! A super hard level? It was made for me. I say before falling right on my asshole. I feel it on the wind. I got everybody. I got them all. I got them all. <laughs> all right, this has got to be it. 
Wait, what? Why? Why is it having me do it again? Is that it? Okay. Yeah, the game is called Cooking Live. You are not the first person to come in here and be like, I thought you were cooking, like actually cooking. <laughs> actually cooking? Absolutely not. You've changed, Mike. Maybe you're not toxic. Dude, just a couple more. And then we can leave breakfast hell, maybe. Changed, Mike. You look richer. And as we know, money maketh man. Pretty sure that's what the phrase was. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do except speed click. Hiya! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! Hiya! Hiya! Yeah, yeah!
Oh my god, I just barely did it. I did it! Why is there a cat in a restaurant? Because I put in there, I bought him with real American dollar. I didn't. <laughs> I just realized that that joke was not gonna land because this is actually a pay to win game. <laughs> I did not buy him with real American dollars. That's cute. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Wow. Oh my gosh, look how far we've come. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, it all came together. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Wow, we really worked hard, you know? We worked hard, we... <sighs> my favorite episode? Oh right, because Jane, <laughs> because Jane does live streams. All right, Jane. Who are we saving next? Nice. Now it's time to move on to this guy. Did you see that? <laughs> did you see what that game just did? <laughs> They're like, okay, all that money, all that extra money that you had just like sitting around because there was nothing to use it on for upgrades, we're gonna use that on a plane ticket to go to the next place. <laughs> nope. Absolutely not. Okay, what kind of restaurant are we? Let's find out. A sushi restaurant? No way. Wait a minute, how do I make soup? Holy shit. Oh no, everything goes so slow. Oh, tap it twice to throw it away. Oh my god, I burned it. I burned it. I burned it. What an interesting restaurant we've got going on here. <laughs> Did these customers follow you across the globe? Yes. <sighs> okay, next, again, let's go. I'm just so fucking excited to be making new shit, dude.
There are new people though. She wasn't there before and she wasn't there before. There are new people here, dude. So maybe, yeah, they did. Clean up. Let's go. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. It's a reward. I think we need more than a dustpan. Nah, we're fine. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Demolish the garage wall. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Maybe she feels like the smell of the flowers really adds to the flavor profile somehow. Far be it from me. Okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, dude? What's the vibe? Um, yeah, I need everything to be faster. Two hours! <laughs> We're in the thick of it now. <laughs> We're in the thick of it now. They're like, yeah, I bet it does feel slow now, doesn't it? That first area, ooh, everything was so fast, so upgraded. And now, now, if for just, for, for the low, low price of just three gemstones, maybe it could only be one hour. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I'm doing what I want. You have no power over me. Asparagus? It's avocado. Or do you mean, is there, is there like a decoration that I missed that I didn't see? All right, you know what? I might as well get all this shit going. Yep, upgrade all of them at the same fucking time. It's the only way. Oh, 
man, these people really want hella salmon, don't they? I burned it. <clears throat> he didn't clap. What did I do, sir? <laughs> he didn't clap that time, dude. What does it mean? Do you see how fucking dark it gets in here? The later in the day we are. I need lights. I need lights. I need camera. I need action. But just lights mostly. <laughs> mostly just lights, dude. God damn it. I am going to spend gems to speed everything up, aren't I? I'm furious about it. No, someone buy some soup. <laughs> Shit. Oh my God, why does everyone want so much salmon? It does not cook fast enough for you bitches. This game. Yeah, I bet you really hate this shit now, huh? But you wish it was all a bit faster, just a little bit faster, you know? Just a smidge. A smidge wouldn't hurt. Just a little bit faster, if only. Ah, uh, if only those upgrades didn't take so long. Ah, uh, but you do have gems, don't you? You have gems because we gave them to you. What's the harm? Just use a few gems. <laughs> Oh my god, he's falling asleep. Oh no! Sir, no! Just wait. Just wait for me, sir, please. Please. Just one. Just one more. Yay, we did it. Seeing <laughs> on the stream while I work sure is something. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah. Tomatoes and carrots. Oh, they're adding a thing now? Let's go. Let's try it. Good. He wants carrots with his salmon. up so fast all you all you salmon bitches stop this guess I should have upgraded oh she's so mad I don't know what to tell you dude they're making me wait two hours I don't know what to tell you I have two hours before I can uh, do anything, so. 
and the game's given me no options to change that. Not a single option. There is nothing that I'm digging my heels into the ground about. I'm not putting myself in this situation, okay? It's the game, it's not me, so. <laughs> Every time we come back, it's like, But like, how far can I get? How far can I get though? A gift? What kind of gift? Oh. You know what, Jane? The pot's on its way, it sure is. I'm gonna keep going until I've uh, created a situation where I literally can't keep up with it anymore. Because that sounds fun. Not even, not even, <laughs> not even a little bit. Okay, our current upgrades. Jane gave us some money, so let's speed them up. Okay, let's see what the difference is now. said, fine, I'll give you gems to upgrade my shit. And then everybody was like, you know what? Soup sounds delicious. <laughs> mm hmm I bet it does. A new task. Let's go. stuff. What? What? Oh, because these are all things that require the other place. Okay, well, that's not what we're doing right now, game, okay? <laughs>
Okay. Next. Let's go. Did it. <sighs> what on earth? Okay. <laughs> this song is a lot, or rather, it's not very much at all. <laughs> Eco-friendly lawn, he said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. After this level. We're definitely gonna turn the music off on this game. I can't take it anymore.
That's it. Yeah, we're at a different restaurant now. <laughs> Ugh. They're heavy pay to win vibes now. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Sure. <laughs> My goodness. <clears throat> I used to watch your SMD VODs on YouTube all the time years ago, but uni and work happened. I don't have time anymore. Got Prime, immediately thought of you. Oh, you've always been such a positive person. You genuinely changed my personality for the better. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for everything. I wish you, your family, and your awesome community all the best. Thank you so much. What a sweet message. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I appreciate the support. People will be glowing orange. Fours, fours, fours. Let's go. Yeah, we're in a new restaurant.
Uh oh. What? No. I don't want to. I don't want to! I'm furious. I can't believe they made me do that. <laughs> greenhouse walls up. A reward. the question should we go back and try to finish these off so that they go away use a waiter booster oh, I can do that use non-stick coating I can do that I can do these I can do those shorter than I remembered it being. costs 135 gems. I have no idea. The second that it was like, you gotta pay for that, bitch! I was like, no, that's alright. <laughs> so I, just, I, didn't, I didn't look at the number. Okay. Hey. Music off. Let's just enjoy the dulcet tones of creating art, aka food, you know? Hard level. I'm ready. <gasps> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, this is unsettling. <laughs> like nothing playing at all. Thank you. 
Oh, it's not my fault that the smoothie maker didn't make it fast enough. This child's gonna go home and be like, that place sucks ass. <sighs> Can't believe the game did that to me, dude. We gotta make use of that non-stick. This non-stick life is very good. Noice! <laughs> Are you sure you're not serving fairy food and these people will die if they don't eat it five times a day? <laughs> Maybe that's it. Man, we're, we're really making enough money to do these renos, huh? Okay. Or maybe it's just Jane. Jane's like, it's fine. It's a write-off for me because it's part of my YouTube channel. I have one minute left on the non-stick coding. Let's go! Oh my god. What the fuck? Why does everyone want soup suddenly? Shit. Are we good? Okay. <clears throat> Twenty six seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Losing track of shit now. Oh my god. Whoo! Let's go. Putting pickles on soup? No, I'm pretty sure those are seeds. Maybe pumpkin seeds? I put pumpkin seeds on my soup. A super hard level! Let's go! Okay, hold on.
is where your money goes, dude. The money, it's vanishing before my very eyes. Oh my god. Please someone take some salmon. Oh no. I fucked up. Oh! <laughs> kidding what? no it's fine I'm fine I'm fine okay everything's fine <coughs> oh my god I hate when I sneeze like that We're trying to get likes. The hearts are likes because social media is important. <laughs> Summer's playing VTube Studio. Get wrecked, Summer. I see everything. Oh no, oopsies. Whoopsie doodle. How's it going? Oh, you okay? Oh, baby. Can I see? Owie. I could hear, I heard that little crack. Owie. You should have heard it. You should have stopped me from putting my arm that way. Well, you were running toward me, baby. I didn't see. You okay? How was your trip? Good. How was Nanny's? I didn't go to Nanny's. <gasps> you didn't? Not at all? Not at all. Not even a smidge? Not even a smidge. Not for even a second? <laughs> Not for even a second! <laughs> okay, I believe Not you. Not for any moment. Not for <laughs> any moment. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Summer, thank you for the raid, dude. Mommy. Yes, Bubba. Can I play with you? Uh, sure. You would you like to try this game? Mommy, can I click that? Click which? 
Yes, you can. Ooh, click the green button. All right. Ooh. Um, so we run a restaurant in this game. There are three different buttons here. Try clicking each of those and see what they look like and then choose your favorite. So that's the first one. That's the second one. Okay, and then try the third one. Which one do you think is the best? That one. You like this one? Okay. So we say, yep, that's us. Um, this is a very stressful game, Clarky. Gotta say. So in this game, we're running a little restaurant. Do you want to see? So we put our salmon in. We got our soup going. And then people come in and they ask for things. So this person wants soup with seeds. They Two of them want smoothies. Smoothie. 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 I know. I've got them. Don't worry, honey. Smoothie. Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. 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 I know, I know, honey, smoothie. I know. I know, honey, I know. Smoothie. Don't worry, I got him. I got him, honey. I got him, honey. Let me try. Okay, go for it. That person wants a smoothie, so click on the smoothie. Yep, there you go. Uh-oh, some stuff burned. It's okay. Two more smoothies. Yeah, nice. Okay, click on that to start making soup. You need to double click on this to get rid of it. And this, there you go, okay. Click on the soup, yeah, good job. And then click on the bowl of soup. There we go. What is it? Oh, sure. Oh yeah, ice cream. Ice creams, goodness. That's twisty ice cream. Are they? Oh my goodness, look at those. Okay, I've got half an hour left of work, Clarky. Let's go hang out, Clucky. So in half an hour, have some family time. I'll make dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, can I click next? Uh, no. Why? Because it it's gonna tell the game that I want to use one of my resources, and I don't want to. <gasps> what a cute shirt! Did you pick that? Mm -hmm. It's very cute. My fashion girly. Oh my gosh, Clarky, we almost did it though. 275 out of 276. We only need one more point. Come here, princess. Let's go hang, let's go hang out. Mm. Till mommy is finished. Oh, come on. Love you. Love you, daddy. Love you, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's up? I'm back. And I got a twisty ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Danny! Oh my gosh. Well. That is not the consistency I expected. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to give you a proper what's up. My kid um, smacked her hand on my table the second that she walked in and I was distracted. But, um... Uh, I, I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good stream with Subbo. Welcome back. Um. Okay. I like that she tried to blame you for not stopping her. I know. Story of my fucking life, dude. <laughs> Let's go. We're cooking. We're mobile gaming.
Oh man. Someone get soup. Thank you. Also, the game is not normally this eerily silent. Um, it is right now because we got sick of the music. And so now it's just um, ASMR mobile game, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I certainly did serve dishes. I did do that. Upset she doesn't like the ice cream. No, I always forget to make more fish. He didn't even clap. Sometimes the old man claps and sometimes he doesn't. What does it mean when he doesn't, dude? What does it mean? You guys want to see um, our our first place that we went to? Our first restaurant. Oh my gosh, this is this, this is our first restaurant. It's super cute. We totally put it back together. Um, infinite. Yeah, okay. Do I just... I just go forever? Okay. Um...
can't believe it. Again. <clears throat> I'm just I'm just out of the I'm just out of the the groove, dude, okay? It's not it's not like that. Prestige points? What does that do for me? I just need to serve enough eggs that I get that shit done on my on my achievements list, okay? I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Ah! Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. make it I didn't make it I didn't make it I didn't think that coming back to this restaurant would be so hard <laughs> Homies give me strength. <laughs> I 
there's a there's a particular brain fart that I do constantly in this game. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I just I just need you to know that it exists. That. It was that right there. If any of you saw it. Why? with me I guess we're still doing okay god damn no Why do I do that? No, no, no! Oh my god. Okay, well, it's fine. <laughs> scream a lot yes finally someone takes it finally someone takes it away from me That was the worst yet. Here, have I have I done the thing yet? Did I do it yet? Oh god. No, Sherlock, I adore you so much. Now's not the time. <laughs> Did I have anything else? No, I, I did them. I did them. I did them. I've done it. We can go back. What do you use the gingerbread men for? It's a it's a Christmas event thing, or like a winter season event. Oh, Sherlock! I adore you so much. You make games so hard. <laughs>
baby. Hi, honey. Mwah. He's like, it's time to eat. I just know it. Mommy, it's time to eat. I just know it. It's not, though. It's not, though, my darling. It's not time. <laughs> His name is Sherlock. And he's a treasure. Hi. A hard level! Let's go! We did it. Herbal? Interesting choice of words. Do they kiss in this game? I'm so curious. the likelihood right how high how likely is it that they kiss in this game is this a smooching game i don't think so every game's a smooching game Now you want salmon, huh? I like that it says solve the photo puzzle as though there's any puzzling to be done. <laughs> 
There isn't. He clapped! He's happy! He clapped! He clapped! <laughs> yeah, the fact that everything says tap is a pretty good indicator that it's a mobile game. <laughs> It's a, it's a no burning food level. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's time for me to go. I have to leave now. We're never finishing this game. <laughs> yes, I want to quit. Goodbye forever. <laughs> you all know the truth, though. You all know the truth. Even if you just got here. Game! Even if you just got here and this is your first time ever seeing me, you know that tonight, after my child's asleep and I've done everything that I need to do, I've done all my closing duties, so to speak, I'm going to come up here and be like, I'm just going to finish that restaurant and then it's going to be all over for me. <laughs>
but I'm an anti-whale, so I know I won't spend any money on it. I'll, I'm just going to be mad about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, where is the channel points list? Beep. Beep. We had a bunch of uh, Valentines. Nilix of Asgard said, I love you, chat. Maze Windu said, I wanted to extend some love to Dodger and chat. I'm going for surgery in just over a week. My anxiety lately has been debilitating. I haven't been sleeping. I've been working, worrying about all the things that could go wrong. And just having this stream and chat here has been life-saving. I appreciate you all very much. Again, Maze Windu, I hope everything goes well. Um, Megan says, I accomplished this and wanted to share a labor of love that started in 2019 has now concluded with 34,348 words. Detective James Andrews story is finished. A weight has been lifted. Oh my gosh. Congrats. And anime hero said, I'm wishing everyone a happy new year and all the best in 2023. Dodger, thank you for being a fantastic streamer in person. I'm excited to see what you will accomplish this year. Keep being wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks for the sweet messages, guys. Um, raid leader is open. Uh, Nilix, I assume this isn't who you meant to put on this, or is it? No. We're raiding Joe. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, strip evil. That's an emote, dude. <laughs> okay, let's double check that Joe's doing... Yep. Look at this cute Deadbeats train. Summer raided me. We're going to raid Joe. Go give him digital kisses. I don't know. Um, but first, let me read off the activity feed. Grace Me, thank you for the 31 months. Lantern Prime for the 99. Telosi for the 25. Shikauku for the 57. Barbecue Head for the 99. Beard Acknowledge for the 76. Look, it's Hunter for the 15. Mossy for the 78. Irish Geezer for the 79. Homeless Lady for the 28. Smart Guy for the 87. Silent Zeno for the 76. Jimmy the Brush for the 51. McBig Hat for the 90. Sir Indubitable for the six years. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary. I appreciate it. Avi gifted a sub to Joe. Thank you, Avi. Tattle for the 31. Siphon Jet for the 5. High Res Moose for the 38. Night Bree for the 29. Pseudo for the 16. Machination for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you very much for the subscription. Miss Pedorkel gave uh, two subs. Thank you very much. Arcelbo, thank you for the 88 months. Uh, Daddy or Yozima, thank you for the 67. Bud Summer, thank you again for the raid. CGK Pluey, thank you for the 33. And Lee Scoresby for the 99. Lots of 99s. Dude, we're about to get another wave of uh, 100 months. That's so wild. All right, let's go raid Joe. Like I said, I will be back tomorrow. Same Duke chime, same Duke channel. I'm just going to keep saying it until it doesn't sound weird. <laughs> or maybe I'll give up. Who knows? You'll have to tune in to find out. Okay, bye. Enjoy Joe. <laughs>